गोल स्टैक प्लानिंग एंड ऑल्सो सॉल द एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड विद गोल स्टैक प्लानिंग एंड in between period i also uh, given you the some problem also on the whatsapp group to practice the goal stack planning i hope all of you must have try to solve such kind of problems now our today's today's session is the related with the water jug problem and uh, solution to the water jug problem using the state space search now water jug problem is considered with a kind of problem uh, where there is a requirement of kind of some kind of uh, intelligence <clears throat> okay and uh, uh, similarly like <clears throat> previous uh, uh, block code puzzle problem also we have solved where also there is a need of some kind of intelligence okay uh, and we have solved that some using some technique of the artificial intelligence and so today also uh, we are going to solve such one kind of problem okay uh, by using some technique of the artificial intelligence and, and that tech technique already we have discussed that is nothing but the state space uh, state space search technique okay so let's start with the what exactly it is uh i hope screen is visible to all of you yes okay. sir first we yes, understand sir. first we understand what exactly mean by the water jug problem is okay so in the water jug problem we have given some uh, two jugs for example here we have two jugs this one and the this one and these two jugs one uh, one jug is having the capacity of 4 gallons gallons in the sense liters okay one jug is having the capacity of 4 liter and another jug is having the capacity of 3 liter okay now uh, one important uh, thing related with these two jugs is what there is a no marking on the jugs okay you should keep in mind these things because these things will require to solve the problem there are no markings measuring marks in the sense what what do you mean by the measuring marks Yes. Major. So the liter is there, but the in that jug, na. Or what? The liter. You mean, sir? Bagid la sir, like that. Jug or jug or that. That jug. Measurement jug. Measurement jug. Like one liter, two liter. Sir. But but the thing here is what there are no marks on the jugs. That is the first thing you should keep in mind. Okay. Another thing, there is a water tap available. Water tap available uh, using which you can fill these jugs. Okay. These things you should keep in mind. now what exactly problem is problem is now this kind of problem being usually asked for the 8 to 10 marks problem is what how can you get exactly 2 liter water understand the problem uh, carefully how can you get exactly how many liters 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug that is the first you are getting the problem what is the problem how you can get exactly 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug means what what is the meaning of this hmm 2 liter water bharaycha na sir doga yacha madhe आपल्याला काय करायचं आहे काहीच्यामध्ये किंवा दुसरा 3 आर 4 लिटर म्हटले 3 लिटरचा जो जग आहे याच्यामध्ये किती लिटर वॉटर आपल्याला फिल करायचं आहे 2 लिटर 2 लिटर दैट इज आवर प्रॉब्लेम 
means that yes, is the sir. problem of the ai agent that he has to solve and this is the thing but the whole idea about what exactly mean by the what object problem first we need to understand what exactly problem is then we can okay according to the steps we have seen first ai agent need to identify what exactly the problem is then then only the ai agent can do the planning to solve that problem apply some technique etc etc correct okay so this is the problem we have to solve how you can get exactly 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug means for example in the jug we have to fill how much liter water 2 liter water what is the total capacity of the jug 3 liter 3 liter and total capacity of this jug is how much 4 liter 4 liter okay keep in these things in mind now how can you represent these represent these things using the state space okay so here i have shown the state space for this problem can be represented or can be described as order pair of integers order pair of integer integers as what x comma y okay now what does this mean by the x and y so here here you can see the x indicates what here x indicates the number of liter water into the 4 liter jugs what number of gallon or liter water into the 4 liter jugs so what is the capacity of 4 liter jug 4 liter understood so x indicates what how much how much how, how much liter water you can fill into the 4 liter jug that is the simply meaning of x means x representing the d jug 4 liter jug in simple yes or no yes yes and y uh, okay here by mistake uh, here i should have the we should have the y here okay y okay understand this here y indicate up to the 3 liter means representing the number of gallon or liter of water into the 3 liter jug so y representing the which jug second jug which is having the capacity of how much 3 liter okay understood the meaning of this order pair of integer yes sir okay x simply here meaning is what x representing the 4 liter jug water y representing the 3 liter jug water and uh, our goal state is like this we we should have when you when you try to solve this problem and we will try to reach to the goal or to the solution we should have the goal state like what n comma 2 what does it mean what is the meaning of this state goal state as a n comma 2 हम्म फोर लिटर मध्य फोर लिटर जग है फोर लिटर जग से थ्री लिटर आता फोर लिटर जग मध्य वॉटर शिलक राेदर एनी वॉटर रिमेन इन द फोर लिटर जग और नॉट वी डोट हेव टू डू एनीथिंग विथ दैट फाइनली यू आर यू आर गेटिंग what we want we want exactly 2 liter of water into the 3 liter jug 3 liter jug that is the, this goal state is understood now i yes, hope all sir. of you got the initial situation and the final situation that we have to reach or goal that we have to reach or solution that we have to find okay understood hold this part yes sir okay let's see how we can proceed now now first we'll solve this problem using general solution general solution in the sense we don't apply any uh, uh, technique of the artificial intelligence okay and then we try to solve this problem so we want exactly 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug this is our problem yes where we have given the x jug which is having the capacity of 4 liter and we have given the y jug which is having the capacity of 3 liter that much is understood all of you okay now we will apply the first step step 1 where we have the x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 means what both the jugs, jugs are, are empty empty yes sir both the jugs are empty then what we will do okay understand carefully what we do we fill the second jug what we do second step we will fill completely the Second jug. That's why x is equal to zero, correct? Zero. And y equal yes. to three. Three. Because capacity of y is the three liter that we know, correct? Yes. In third step, what we will do? 
will will put all the water from the second jug into the first jug you are getting the third step what we have yes, done sir. we have we are going to put or we are going to fill all the water from the second jug into the first jug that's why x value term how much x equal to 3 correct yes sir and as you are putting all the water from the second jug into the first jug your second jug will become empty yes sir that is the third step okay now in the fourth mm -hmm. step what we have done see again we have fill the second jug in the fourth step you got the point yes sir in the fourth step what we have done we have, we have completely fill the second jug in the fourth step and that's why in the fourth step we have x equal to 3 and y equal to 3 equal to 3 got the point yes sir yes sir and then what we will do in the last step we will try to fill the water from the second jug into the first jug until the first jug get fill completely then what will the result result will be this yes or no yes sir. yes sir aplyala marking mahit nahi you are getting my point yes, and yes, that's sir. why we have to apply such kind of logic here such kind of steps we have to perform and if you try to put water from second jug into the first jug and now until what time you will put the water into the first jug until it will not get completely filled yes or no until what time you will put the water from the second jug into the first jug here yes apan kadhi paryanta dusra jug madun pehla jug madhe water takat enter until what time we should go on until this first jug paryanta pehla full paryanta pehla full honar nahi na pehla chi capacity full hoy mhanje yacha madun jar tumhi pani first jug madhe takat gelat तर हा फुल झालेला तर तुम्हाला दिसणार आहे मार्किंग नाहीये ठीक आहे करेक्ट बट यू कॅन इझिली सी वेदर इट वेन इट इज गेटिंग फुल करेक्ट अँड वेन यू गो ऑन पोअरिंग द वॉटर फ्रॉम सेकंड जग इन टू द फर्स्ट जग देन डेफिनेटली यू विल रिमेन यू विल गेट द रिझल्ट एज द वॉटर रिमेन इन द फर्स्ट जग दॅट इज द टू लिटर येस ऑर नो येस दिस इज नथिंग बट अवर गोल स्टेट getting the exactly how many liter 2 liter water two into the 3 liter jug right. yes sir you got the point yes sir this is the general solution means here we are not apply any technique of the artificial intelligence but now this kind of problem has to be solved from what ai agent you are getting my point this kind of problem yes, has sir. to be solved from whom ai agent in the sense i can call him for example from the computer okay then how this kind of problems will be get solved from the ai agent or the computer then for that purpose there is a utilization of the state space what there is utilization of what state space search okay now these steps we have applied and we have reached to the goal state now there can be another solution okay there can be another solution for the given problem also that you have to try by yourself you are getting what i am saying ki jas apan doni jag agodar empty ketle that then after that we have filled the second jug then we have pour the water from the second jug into the first jug okay and then again we have filled the second jug and lastly we have we go on pouring the water from second jug into the first jug until the until the first jug getting filled and in this way you got the exactly 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug understood mhanje ya ja steps apan apply kelela ahet yacha vyatrikta sudha dusra step asu shaktat yes or no yes sir so that you have to try what in in which different way you can you can get the exactly 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug okay got the general solution yes sir okay now as i said we have to solve this problem using the technique that is the state pay, state space 
okay so that this kind of technique can be utilized for the uh, ai agent to solve such kind of problems okay now if you are expecting the ai agent to solve this kind of problem okay we will apply we have to apply some technique and here we are applying the state space okay this is the situation we have given we want exactly 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug we have given the 2 jug x is equal to 4 liter size uh, capacity and y as a 3 liter capacity now in order to solve it using the state space okay in order to solve this using the state space there are some rules has to be applied what in order to solve this problem using the state space search we need to apply some rules we have to use some rules so first we discuss these rules okay now you need to understand these rules carefully you know to solve such kind of problems one important thing you should keep in mind in the exam you have to provide the solution to such kind of problems using the state space not not as a general solution you have to provide solution must be using what state space you are getting what i'm saying yes sir you should not provide the general solution that i have shown you there that is i have shown you just for the understanding purpose you are getting my point yes sir but to provide the solution using the state space search you first have the general solution in your mind correct or not yes sir and that's why i have shown you the general solution now after having the general solution then we try to apply these rules now first we understand the rules and then we try to uh, see what kind of rules we are requiring from this so rule 1 for example suppose you want to fill the x jug completely ata he je rules apan discuss karto he general rules manje water jug cha related kutlahi problem ala tar tumhi he rule use karu shakta you are getting yes sir yes sir yes sir understood water jug प्रॉब्लम चे वॉटर आता इतना भी बंद लाइक ही फोर लीटर थ्री लीटर तुम अलास अपन प्रॉब्लम आ सकती है फाइव फाइव लीटर सिक्स लीटर एंड गेट द एक्सेक्टली वन लीटर वॉटर इनटू द सिक्स लीटर जग यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यस सो हियर दिस आर द जनरल रूल्स यू कैन अप्लाई दिस रूल्स टू द एनी वॉटर जग प्रॉब्लम दैट विल बी आस्क सो जस्ट लेट्स डिस्कस द रूल्स नाउ सपोज यू वांट टू फील द एक्स जग कंप्लीटली काय यू वांट टू फील द एक्स जग कंप्लीटली नाउ दिस रूल्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग using this given uh, specification one jug of the 4 liter capacity another jug of the 3 liter capacity okay only this parameter will change if the another uh, example or the problem will be asked uh, related with the water jug now suppose if you want to fill the x jug completely so as i said we are representing that pair as a two jug by x and y so what is what you have to do if you want to fill the x jug completely the rules that should be like this 4 comma y correct or not yes sir because capacity yes, of x jug is the 4 liter hmm. correct these rules you have to apply yes, if you want to if you want to uh, fill the x jug completely now suppose if you want to fill the y jug completely just opposite to that x what you want to fill the y jug completely so this rule will be utilized there x comma y <coughs> implies x comma 3 because capacity of second jug is how much liter 3 liter 3 liter understood now suppose you want to do some another operation like you want to take some water out of x jug okay now solving this problem depends on your logic how logic you apply there and accordingly you can use these rules okay to implement to uh, deploy your logic okay so to take some water out of x ata kay karaycha hai tumhala x liter jug madun uh, x jo jug hai tyacha madun kay karaycha hai you have to take some water out of that now when you can take some water out of the x jug when x is greater than 0 javes x madhe kay tari asel water asel taras tumhi tyacha madun kay tari water kadu shakta na got the point yes sir and that rule you can utilize rule the rule for that is like this x comma y implies x minus d what is the meaning of this d some water from x yes or no yes sir what you have to do we have to take some water out of the x so rule for that is x comma y implies x minus d 
comma mm -hmm. y whether right. condition is what x must be greater yes. than 0 yes sir understood the third rule yes sir then fourth rule to take some water out of the y jug just opposite to that yes. what should be the condition then y must be greater than 0 correct or not yes sir if you want to take some water out of the y jug in that case y must be greater than 0 and you can the state space represent representation for that is x comma y implies x y minus d just opposite to the previous rule understood yes sir now if you want to perform the operation that is what if you want to empty the x completely काय करायचं तुम्हाला एक्स एम्प्टी एक्स कंप्लीटली काय करायचं आहे एम्प्टी करायचं आहे अंडरस्टूड व्हेन यू कॅन डू द एक्स कंप्लीटली एम्प्टी व्हेन देयर इज सम वॉटर इन द एक्स येस ऑर नो करेक्ट ऑर नॉट व्हेन यू कॅन एम्प्टी द एक्स कंप्लीटली व्हेन देयर इज अ सम वॉटर इन द एक्स ओके you are getting this what operation we have to perform what you have to do you have to empty the x completely yes sir x to be em completely empty kadhi karu shakta jeva tyachat kay tari asal te kay tari asel so rule is simple x comma y implies 0 comma y correct yes sir barobar na x empty karaycha na tumhala so x comma y implies 0 comma y when x is greater than 0 completely similar uh, opposite to that if you want to empty the y completely kay karaycha ata you have to empty the y y completely completely empty. then what should be the condition there y must be greater than 0 yes sir yes sir and you can use the state space representation like this x comma y implies x comma 0 simple yes sir okay let's see the another rules okay seventh rule now you want to fill x using y kay karaycha you want to fill x using y then how we should write these things now if you want to fill x using y there's there should be some water in the y yes or no yes sir that is the condition y must be greater than 0 yes okay if you want to fill x using y there some there must be a what some water in the y, y. understood and if you are filling x using y it should be like x plus y is greater than equal to 4 yes or no if you are filling the x completely using y it will be like this x plus y greater than equal to 4 because you cannot fill the x jug greater than the 4 greater than 4 correct yes, na samajh lega okay yes sir. then state space representation for this like this x comma y implies ata aplyala kay karaycha baka you have to fill x completely using y Yes. Now, if you fill x completely using y, x will become four. Yes. And now, from where you are going to put water into the x? Y. Y. Mag y ka y sati kaya apna la mention karao lagal y minus four minus x. What does it mean? Y minus in bracket four minus x. याचा अर्थ काय की वाय मधून आपल्याला किती वॉटर काढावे लागेल हे बघा हा एक्झॅक्टली वाय मायनस म्हणजे वाय मधून किती वॉटर काढावं लागेल की जेवढी आता सध्याला सध्याच्या कंडिशनला एक्स मध्ये दोन लिटर वॉटर असू शकत करेक्ट येस मग आपण वाय मधून दोनच काढू शकतो दोनच काढणार ना येस दॅट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट वाय मायनस 4 minus x. minus x so you should 
pour water p o u r you should pour water from y into the x up to the remaining capacity of x that is the yes, meaning sir. of got this got this this is a very important rule samajh la rule Yes, sir. Okay. yes sir. similar to that now you want to fill y using x y fill karaycha aplyala using what x jug x tumhi y jug using x jug kadhi fill karu shakta ja ves x jug kay asel greater than 0 asel yes understood and this condition must be satisfied ki tumhi y jug kadhi paryanta fill karu shakta ki jo paryanta tachi capacity 3 3 understood so this part you can write similarly x comma y implies x minus in bracket 3, 3 minus y ki x madun kiti water tumhi kada ki jevde capacity remaining ahe kunachi y jug chi got the point y jug madhe jar suppose y jug madhe jar 1 liter water asel ha rule apply karnayacha agodar tar tumhi x madun kiti liter water kadu shakta x minus 3 minus y means y. x minus 3 minus 1 3 minus that is 1. 2 so that is 2. that amount of water you can take out from x and pour into the second y. jug that is the y yes sir so this is the rule number 8 nine to add everything from x and y into the x what operation you want to perform to add everything from x and y into x kay karaycha hai lakshat gya kay karaycha hai x ani y matlab purna pani manje x madhe tak karaycha hai tar tyacha sathi simple rule kay x comma y implies x plus y barobar na apan kay karnar hai x ani y madle sagle water kute taknar hai x madhe mhanun ithe kay lile apan x plus x plus y ani mag y kay hoil then 0 0 अंडरस्टूड हा हे ऑपरेशन तुम्ही कधी परफॉर्म करू शकता व्हेन दिस कंडिशन विल गेट सॅटिस्फाइड यस व्हॉट इज कंडिशन x plus y मस्ट बी लेस देन ओर इक्वल टू 4 4 यू आर गेटिंग म्हणजे x मध्ये काहीतरी काहीतरी व्हॉट यू कॅन से कॅपॅसिटी रिमेनिंग पाहिजे की जो की बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ओनली वी कॅन पूर सम वॉटर इनटू द x फ्रॉम म्हणजे एक्स मध्ये वन लिटर पाहिजे आणि इकडे तीन लिटर पाहिजे तर मग एक्स मध्ये काहीतरी आपल्याला पाणी टाकण्यासारखी काहीतरी रिमेनिंग कॅपॅसिटी पाहिजे की एक्स मध्ये काहीतरी रिकामी रिकामी स्पेस पाहिजे दॅट इज द मिनिंग अंडरस्टूड आणि मग वाय मध्ये सुद्धा काहीतरी वॉटर पाहिजे तरच तुम्ही ते एक्स मध्ये टाकू शकता दॅट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस गॉट द पॉइंट सिमिलरली टू ऍड एव्हरीथिंग फ्रॉम वाय अँड एक्स इन टू द वाय काय एक्स वाय मधल सगळं कुठं वॉटर कुठं टाकायचं आपल्याला फील करायचं वाय कधी तुम्ही करू शकता वेन एक्स प्लस वाय इज लेस दॅन इक्वल टू थ्री अँड एक्स इज ग्रेटर दॅन झिरो आणि ते फक्त तुम्ही त्याचं स्टेट स्पेस रिप्रेझेंटेंट कसं करणार आहे असं एक्स कॉमा वाय इम्प्लाईज जर तुम्ही वाय मधल वॉटर याच्यामध्ये टाकणार असेल तर तुमचा एक्स झिरो होईल आणि तुमचा वाय कसा होईल एक्स प्लस वाय होईल एक्स प्लस वाय वॉट द पॉइंट so these are yes, the sir. 10 basic rules that you can utilize while solving the water jug problems he sagle rule aplyala atta jo apan problem solve karaycha aplyala aplyala problem kay solve karaycha atta cha current problem you have to fill 3 liter jug water with exactly 2 liter 2 liter water ha apla current cha problem you are getting my point yes sir pan he je rules ata yachi he sagles rule lagnar ahet ka aplyala नाही लागणार आय हॅव टोल्ड यू द ऑल द जनरल रूल्स विच यू कॅन युटिलाइज टू सॉल्व्ह द एनी काइंड ऑफ वॉटर जग प्रॉब्लेम यू गॉट द पॉइंट येस सर अँड लेट्स मूव्ह ऑन टू अवर सोल्युशन द करंट प्रॉब्लेम विच इज गिवन फॉर अस दॅट द करंट वॉटर जग प्रॉब्लेम अँड टू दॅट करंट वॉटर जग प्रॉब्लेम वी हॅव टू प्रोव्हाइड द सोल्युशन नाव ओके let's see uh, once again i told you the problem exactly we have to fill exact 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug where you are given the two jugs one is having the capacity of 4 liter and another is having the capacity of 3 liter 3 liter now using the above rules that we have discussed now i hope all of you got the rules 
okay now using the all the routes which is given above we can solve the water jet problem using the graphical or the tree representation that is the one method one method is what utilizing the graphical or the tree representation and another way to solve this problem is the tabular representation okay you got the two points two yes, sir. two way using the two way you can solve this kind of water jet problem one is the graphical or the tree representation and another is the tabular representation tabular. using the table and here yes. we will solve this water jet problem using the tabular representation tabular now you do the one thing okay you write these steps first the general solution steps write down okay mention these uh, general rule solution for that we have uh, done initially okay in the steps one in the steps one you can see we have the uh, both the jugs empty yes, okay sir. in the second step we have fill the second jug completely in the third step we have pour the water from the second jug into the first jug in the fourth step again we have fill the second jug completely and in the last step we have pour the water from second jug into the first jug until the first jug fill complete okay let's uh, let's apply the given rules and uh, then we we'll try to solve the given problem so given problem we have the exactly 2 liter of water uh, we need to pour 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug okay where we have given the two jugs one is having the capacity of 4 liter and other is having the capacity of 3 liter so uh, we have to apply these above rules and we'll try to solve the problem using the graphical or the tree representation this is the one method uh, to solve the water jug problem we can apply the two methods one is the graphical or the tree representation and another method is uh, to solve this using the tabular representation okay so we'll try to solve this using the tabular representation okay see here we are given the two jugs one is the x having the capacity of 4 uh, liter and another jug is having the capacity of 3 liters and here we will write the rules that we want to apply now as you can see uh, in the general solution we have uh, seen the five steps we have taken okay so first step is both the jugs are empty so here fourth step is what both the jugs are empty so initially jugs are empty uh, no need to apply any kind of rules okay uh, <clears throat> and then uh, here if you want to make the jug if the jugs are not empty and if you want to make the jugs empty then you can apply the rule for that as rules we can see here uh, to uh, empty the jugs we have the rule number okay fifth and sixth rules you can uh, utilize okay these rules uh, you can utilize like uh, if you want to empty the x completely you can utilize these rules and if you want to empty the y completely you can utilize these rules okay but initially we have to assume both the jugs are empty so x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and here that's why i have mentioned here dash now second step is what uh, what we will do we'll pour the water or we'll try to fill the entire y jug fully so here you know to full or fill the y jug completely we have the rule number second okay so in the rule number second uh, you can see if you want to fill the y jug completely here here you can apply this rule to fill the y jug completely x comma y uh, implies x comma 3 okay then third step third step will pour the water from will pour the water from second jug into the first jug so if you want to pour everything from second jug into the 
for job then you have to apply the rule number 9 okay so see the rule number 9 here you can see the rule number 9 to add everything from x and y into the x so this rule you have to apply and so because of that the y jug will become empty okay zero so here you can see that if you fill everything from this jug to this jug this become cap this uh, the number of liter water in this jug is 3 and this will become empty okay so our fourth step is what fill the y liter y jug completely okay what fourth step is what fill the y jug completely here okay this is the fourth step now you have to fill the y jug completely again you have to apply the second rule that i have shown okay then our last step is what we have reached to up to this point now last step is what we have to pour the water from y jug into the x jug until the x jug becomes until the x jug becomes completely filled okay what we have to do fifth step you have to pour the water or you have to put the water from y jug into the x jug okay so for this you need to apply the rule number 7 so see what is the rule number 7 so here you can see rule number 7 to fill x using y so what you have to apply this rule x comma y implies 4 y minus 4 minus x when y is greater than 0 x plus y is greater than equal to 4 means you have to fill the water into the x jug until it get fill completely because its capacity is 4 and you will pour water from y jug this you have written y minus 4 minus x key according to the what is the remaining capacity of x jug we will pour water from this y jug into the x jug this condition is written like uh, using this state space representation y minus in bracket 4 minus x and if you go on filling the x jug if you go on filling the x jug okay using that rule so in the fourth step x was 3 y was 3 here you will go on filling the x jug until it get filled completely so his capacity is 4 so in his, uh, before this was it was 3 so if it is get, get filled completely it will become full as its capacity is 4 and what will be remaining here here will be the 2 and this is nothing but our desired answer getting the exactly 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug and okay here we apply the rule number 7 so this is the uh, solution to the problem getting the exactly 2 liter of water getting exactly the 2 liter of water into the 3 liter of jug now suppose you want you want 2 liter of water into the 4 liter of jug another problem what you want to have the 2 liter of water into the 4 liter of jug now what you will do so we'll carry on from this point only so if you want the 2 liter of water into the 4 liter of jug what we'll do first we'll empty the x completely what we'll do we'll empty the x completely means we'll make the x zero and here you know to make the x zero we'll apply the rule number fifth now what is our rule number fifth is saying let's go so rule number fifth is what to empty the x completely you can use the state space representation rule like this x comma y implies 0 minus y means here whatever the water was there in the x will pour it on the earth or somewhere else but will not pour into the y this is the important thing here the water from x will be pour anywhere but it will not be pour into the y and that's why we will get the situation like this x comma y implies 0 comma y and condition is what x must be greater than 0 and after doing that you can see here we'll get the next uh, next step here okay we know to get the 2 liter water into the 4 liter jug apply after apply after applying the fifth step you will get the x zero and uh, y as as it is 2 next now what we want we want 2 liter one to the water into the 4 liter jug and uh, next what we will do then we pour everything everything which is available in the y now what is available in the y 2 into the x and if you pour everything into the 
x from y the rule which you have to apply is what rule number 9 whatever there in the y pour everything into the x and if you pour everything from y into the x you will get the x as a 2 2 liter of water and y will be the 0 so this is the solution to the first problem that we have seen exactly 2 liter water into the 3 liter jug and this is the solution to the second 2 liter one to the water into the 4 liter jug okay so using the given above, above rules you can apply these above rules to the any problem related to the water jug and solve this problem okay i hope all of you have got this point you need to do the practice okay uh, to understand these uh, problems and solve it uh, in the proper way okay thank you all of you that's it for the today's lecture